Uh, indescribably euphoric. <laughs> All that tension that I was having in my neck, oh my god. That was, wow. Yeah, no words. <laughs> Do you notice the difference? I mean, I'm, the Y strap thing, it just feels like, holy cow. Like, no, I mean, I feel really decompressed. I guess that's the only word I can think of, is just decompressed. Yep. All the tension and stuff that I felt like, I was carrying like dumbbells on my head like that. I just feel like uh, I can like stand up and stretch and breathe now. If I would, if I was to only choose one adjustment to do on anybody, that right there mm -hmm. would be. Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Joseph Cipriano. Um, now today we have our patient here, and as we went over all through the paperwork, um, you literally have pain from head to toe. Yeah, <laughs> literally head to toe. Um, all the way stemming up to headaches. Now, it was worse before he told me, but now it's roughly two, three times a month mm -hmm. with that age. Mm -hmm. um, so, but still getting them. So, you know, we are going to kind of address that. Um, neck pain. Wow. All right. Very tight traps. <laughs> shoulder pain. I can tell why you have shoulder pain. Um, and then even the upper back pain, middle back pain, low back pain, um, sciatic pain. Um, am I missing anything? Hips and knees. Hips and knees. Yes. And... That's really about it I can think of for now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, now, how often are, are you noticing things? Uh, well, the headaches, like I was saying, about two to three times a month now. How um, is like the neck, neck pain, shoulder I, pain? I feel like I carry tension constantly. Okay. There's always some sort of pain. It's okay. either, you know, it can be a two to, on a scale of one to ten, it can be a two to three. It can be, you know, an eight or nine. Gotcha. So, it just depends on... What, where I'm facing, how I'm laying, how I'm sitting, how I'm walking. Okay. And then that pain, you're feeling it in the upper back, mm -hmm. and the middle back, and yeah. the lower back. Now it's constant. Yeah, yeah. It's just, just how you said. Everything's constant. I, I notice a, more of a sharp pain when I like bend over to pick something up. If I drop it, I'll feel like a really bad pinch in my lower back. Okay. Um, like a sharp burning, like a nerve pain almost. Okay. Something like that. Does it stay in that low back, or do you notice it It stays down? in the low back for the most part, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, now the knee pain is it just primarily? I think or it's is it both. I think it's. I think my knee pain is primarily maybe more arthritis than anything else. But okay. I do feel a little bit of crunchiness in my knees if that makes sense. Yep. Um, but you know, stretching, just getting them moving helps. Almost like you know, when you move an old piece of machinery for the first time in a long time. Once it gets moving, it's like okay, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's just like getting it out, getting it going, yeah. getting it active. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's really only the mornings with, with mm -hmm. the knees. And the pain is just in the knees. It's not like it's going down into the feet. No, just in the there. knees, yeah. Okay. So, and it's not like it's traveling from the low back and you're feeling it down the mm -hmm. leg. Mm -hmm. So it's just specifically knee pain mm -hmm. and then specifically low back pain. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So none of it is actually traveling. So it, mm -hmm. yeah, the knees may seem like um, individual issues. Not, mm -hmm. They may not be yeah. related to that low back at all. But mm -hmm. they could be. You know, we'll go through the... Um, the examination, I'm going to put you through some orthopedic tests, okay. um, put you through a range of motion. Now, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to recreate any pain, right. um, so let me know if you know if anything does hurt you. Okay. Um, granted, I'm not trying to torture you at all, I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to get positives. All right. um, but yeah, so I want to start with the baseline, um, so we're going to start in the neck, I just want you to look all the way up to the ceiling. Any pain with that? No pain, just a little bit of tightness in the neck. Okay, and then if you look all the way down to the ground. Any issues with that? No, not really. Good. Um, if you were to bring one ear to the side and... Just extremely tight on the left side. Right okay. Now. And then when you do it... And same. Same, okay. but a little you bit... You turn little bit further. Of a, over here? Yeah. I do feel a little bit of a pinch in my upper back when I go that way. Okay, a little bit lower. A little bit lower. In there. In the spine. Yeah, yeah, right in there where your thumb is. Right in there? Okay. Yeah. Um, and then if you were to rotate over either side, any pain with that? Not really. Okay, good. And other side? Oh, I mean, ever so slightly on the left side, in okay. my neck. In the neck? Yeah. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to push down okay. on the top of your head. Oh, yeah. Where did you notice In the that? neck. In the neck? Like just at the base of my skull, actually. Okay, right in here, too? Like right in this area. Right in that area? Right yeah. Okay. Um, did anything travel going down or stayed right there? Stayed right there. Okay. So now you turn your head to the side this way. Mm, that was on the left side, a little bit lower. The left side a little yeah. lower? Okay. And now we're going to go to this side. 
Not much of anything there. Okay, good. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to lift up. Let me know if you feel increase, decrease, or no change. Not really much of a change Okay. from a certain position. Okay. And then we're going to press down here. Any pain with that? Mm -hmm. Good. And this side. Any pain with that? Nope. Good. Okay. Um, let me have you lay on your back for me. All right. Okay. So I'm going to raise one leg up at a time. All right. Let me know if you have any pain in the low back of the hips with this. Nope, just hamstring tension. Okay, yep, yeah, that's that yeah. be normal. And then if I bring this foot forward, just, mm -hmm. okay. So we're going to bend the knee, cross here, I'm going to come down just like this. Any pain in the low back of the hips with this? In the hips a little bit, on this outside. Over here. On the outside of that hip? Okay. We're going to do this leg now. Raise this one up. Any pain in the low back? No, nope. but I bend forward. Nope. Good. And we'll cross this one here. Any pain in the low back of the hips? Not really as much, but there's a little bit there. Same area, though. Same area. Yeah. Okay. Um, this time I'm going to have you flip over onto your stomach for me. I'm going to have you bend this knee. Any pain with this? A little bit in the lower back. Just like little right bit. in here? A little bit higher. Yeah, in there. And did it stay right in there? Mm hmm. Okay. If I bring this leg in, any pain with that? No. If I bring it out, any pain with that? No. Good. Any pain with that? Lower back, but not really like a spinal pain, more like a, uh, I don't even know how to say like it. Like a muscle pain? Yeah, yeah. Okay. If I bring this leg in, no. any issues? Nope. Or if I bring it out? Nope. Okay. Alrighty, so now what I'm going to do, we're going to scan the entire body. Um, I just, I'm, I'm going to look for the symmetry. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. looking for everything on the right side. We want it to be, um, you know, as it is on the left. Um, I'm going to be feeling up and down the spine and kind of going off to the sides. I'm going to follow muscles. I'm going to check for any taut, tender fibers, um, just anything that could be causing issues. So I'm going to palpate also down the spine. Um, let me know if anything that I push into, if it is sore or tender, okay? Okay. So we'll start up in that cervical spine here. Okay. Anything tender to the touch? Nope. Good. Now granted, I feel already how tight the traps are through here. So we're going to focus on that with the, uh, that hypervolt today. Any pain through that mid-back, that mid-thoracic? Mm -mm. No. Good. Okay, now we're going into that lower thoracic spine, that upper lumbar. Any issues that are here? Not really issues, it's just I can tell it's a little more tender, but not like a discomfort or pain. Okay. And anything through here? Nope. Okay. If I push in over this right SI joint, nope. any, no pain, good. Directly over the sacrum? Mm -mm. Good. And then over the left side? Nope. Good. So we're gonna come down here, we're gonna check out the leg length. <clears throat> As you can tell, He's right short here, so we are. It, it's not. A, it's not um, like a crazy amount, but I know it's actually nice when you wear the Converse. You can see the uh, the lines going across, so you can really notice uh, the shortness. You know, when we do scan up the back. So the one thing, especially that I was feeling, especially right through here, it's actually a little bit raised up. So what that's telling me, there's a, a rotation in the spine right through here. I know it wasn't that painful for you, but yeah, I'm just noticing this with um, like that that symmetry. So we're gonna we're gonna adjust this also today as well. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to do that massage device. Just relax the entire body, and then we'll go ahead with the adjustment. Sound good? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, so the first time actually right when I, while he was sitting up, you could really just feel extremely how tight everything was, so. And I know that you told me how you hold a lot of your stress right in the trash, so. We'll work on this quite a bit here.
How'd that feel? Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> Good. Okay. So we're going to start off on that left side here, right around that T1. Good. Drop down just a little bit of T2 on the right. Perfect. Felt how that just opened everything up there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay, I'm gonna have you take a deep breath in and exhale out. Good. One more time, deep breath in and exhale out. Good. We're gonna go a little bit lower as well. One more time, deep breath in and exhale out. Good. Okay. So now, what I always like to check, I know granted you weren't really having much pain mm -hmm. um, in the sacral area, but what I do want to check, I want to stabilize on the sacrum, I'm going to have you raise each leg up, I want you to raise this one up as high as you can for me. Any pain, tenderness, tightness with that? No. Alright, relax that side. Raise this side up for me. Any pain, tenderness, tightness? No. Okay, good. They both are about the same height, which is a good thing. So no issues with the sacral area. Um, now, what I did want to focus on was that spot right through here. So I want you to sit up for me, please. Um, and one leg on either side of the table. Go. Okay, right here. Sit up nice and straight, good. I'm gonna rotate you like this. Uh, with your thighs, kind of keep them okay. to the table. Okay. I want you to look as far as you can over that left shoulder. Ooh, there it was. There we go, I got that one to move. Perfect, lay face, back to the face down again. Okay. Um, just so everyone knows, how tall are you? Uh, six four and change, maybe six five. Six five. So of course we have a little bit of a height difference, <laughs> as you guys could probably notice with that one. But just so you know. Okay. You look like his baby brother sitting behind him. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, I'm gonna have you sit up for me. Alright. And I want you to face that wall. Good. Okay. Got a little tightness in the neck. I know when we were doing those orthopedic tests, we were getting some positive when pushing down. So we're going to just check. I want to see what the rotation. What I like to do, I like to feel how the vertebra glide along each other. So as you can tell, you feel how I just move up and down. Mm -hmm. So I'm feeling the different vertebra, and it's honestly, when it comes to this part, this is more of something that you learn just with with time. Mm -hmm. So it's hard. This is like the only one I feel bad. It's hard to to really tell um, viewers on how or why I'm doing the adjustment. I just I feel the vertebra how it one sticks a little bit more on top of the other. Um, it's as I was saying, it's, it's not anything you can really show, but you know, we just want to get it gliding better. Good. Okay. Good. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna have you give yourself a big hug here. Take a deep breath in, and that's how. Good. Okay. Scoot down just a little bit for me. Right there. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna do the Y strap. Um, I know one of the main reasons on why you came here, and on why everyone comes here. Um, so we're gonna do that manual decompression. After we do that. Um, I'm going to do a soft tissue technique mm -hmm. right through here just because I know how tight and tight right. you are. I know that that first adjustment we did mm -hmm. really unlocked a lot and mm -hmm. opened a lot up, but still, you know, I'm feeling a little bit of tightness. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to do that, like I said, the soft tissue technique up here. 
And then I'm going to do a little bit of work on the knees as well. Okay. So let's get you to lay on back. Let's bring this around your head. Perfect. Lay back. Good. And with the wide strap, I have the patient laid nice, flat, relaxed. Only thing that's happening, I guess the beard's coming up in his face a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm going to distract in the y-axis. Oh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, relax for a moment. Oh. <laughs> How did that feel? Uh, indescribably euphoric. <laughs> <laughs> you, f you really yeah. feel that just yeah. Oh, yeah. That Especially all that tension that I was having in my neck. Oh my God. That was, wow. Yeah, no words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, though, that technique, mm -hmm. um, I, like, even when I tell people the first time I had it done to myself, mm -hmm. I just, I, I was amazed. I, I knew right then and there I had to, you know, research this technique out mm -hmm. more just so I knew exactly what was going on and oh everything mm -hmm. about it. I mean if I would if I was to only choose one adjustment to do on anybody, that right there mm -hmm. would be the number one thing for for my patients. Yeah, that's, that's the bee's knees right there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what I'm gonna have you do, I'm gonna have you sit up first, I'm gonna just go through with the hypervolt relax. What I'm gonna have you do, I'm gonna have you turn face that way. Right. Um I want you to take one hand at a time, put it in the small of your back for me. Like kind of like a little sassy thing here? <laughs> back, back here, back for okay. me. Now do it, um... Oh, I got you. Yep, just like that. Yeah, so it does... When I have you put your hand like that, what it's doing, it's pulling that scapula off. Yeah, I feel like it like, moves the muscle around it. Yep. Or yes, it does. And that's why now I'm able to get underneath mm -hmm. and really work right through there. the chance. Okay. I know. That, that little guy's pretty intense. <laughs> um, I want you to lay on your back for me. Sure. Uh, I want to go at the knees. This all time. the way back on the table? Yeah, all the way back on the table. And let's just slide that one around too, yeah? <laughs> Alright, what I'm first going to do, I'm going to do a leg pull on either side. Okay. Um, you may feel a little release in the ankle, that knee. Okay. And going all the way up to the hip as well. Now, when you're having that pain in the knee, is it more? It's almost uh, more like on the inside knee, but deeper in, like a uh, meniscus almost. Like a meniscus. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to go very light with this, and we're, we're going to be just going in, like right through here. Mm -hmm. We're just going to go around, like the circumference of the, of the knee here. So this is a little bit lighter. And I know it's still not the most comfortable, but. I know that your knees do bother you. Mm -hmm. We want to do at least a little bit of work. So we did the the leg pull to get see if there was any pressure in the knees. And if not, I just want to work a little bit on the surrounding muscles and ligaments here.
Now we're going to come over to the other knee. following up the, that IT band and then going to work on some of the muscles in the quads here. Okay, can I have you flip over? So now we're going directly behind that kneecap here, the patella, and we're going to just work a little bit, you know, on the hamstring, a little bit on the calf, just because all of this will have uh, the play and, and can be an issue in causing any type of knee pain as well. I mean, I'm the Y strap thing. It just feels like, holy cow! Like, I know everybody says they feel taller. Yep. I feel taller. Like, legitimately, I feel taller. <laughs> and I feel. Can you give me some of that height? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I have any to spare. I'm kind of kind of enjoying it a little bit. <laughs> but no, I mean, I feel really decompressed. I guess that's the only word I can think of. Is just decompressed. Yep. All the tension and stuff that I felt like. I was carrying like dumbbells on my head like that. I just feel like ah, I can like stand up and stretch and breathe now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's it's great. No, good, good. That that's the whole point. That's that's why I do that technique. You know, we're, we want to remove pressure off the mm -hmm. nerves, and when you remove that pressure, it allows the, the nerves to, yeah. to function. You know, mm -hmm. as they should. Mm -hmm. And and you got to realize, um, especially with with what you do, um, you know, with all the camera equipment right. and setting things up, carrying the just life in general mm -hmm. you got all that gravity all that weight mm -hmm. coming down on you and what that does you know just over time you know it may not be a one day thing but just over time right. it just starts to slowly compress and compress and compress so yeah when you come here and you get that mm -hmm. decompression i mean it, it's a powerful technique mm -hmm. for sure <laughs> you know? yeah it just it, a lot of people you're not ready for it and yeah it just pulls it off and yeah you feel lighter you feel like a weight has been lifted mm -hmm. but yeah Perfect. Glad you're feeling good. Absolutely. I'm glad I'm feeling good. <laughs> exactly. All right, everybody. I'm Dr. Joseph Cipriano. Um, if anyone is ever looking to schedule an appointment, go right to the website. Would love to have you. Uh, DrJosephCipriano.com. Uh, would love to help you out. Have a good one, guys.